Today in this video we are going to upgrade the EPAX X1 to the parallel light. These are the tools that you're going to need. When you receive the kit you will receive many screws but these are the ones that you're going to need and for the most part we're going to reuse the ones that the printer already has. We're going to start by taking the back panel off. Now we're going to take the bottom off. We're going to continue by cutting off the zip ties. Unclip those. Next thing, we're going to unplug the LCD ribbon from the motherboard. It comes with the white, this white foam, it's just tape, you can peel that off. Next, we're going to remove the USB cable. It has some glue in there. Here, we're going to take off the motherboard. It has two screws, one at the top. And the other one at the bottom. We're ready to take the motherboard out. The first thing we're going to remove is the touchscreen ribbon. The Ethernet cable, the Z axis, I'm sorry, this is the optic switch cable. It has some glue on it. There we go. This also has glue on it. This is the power. This is the light. This is the first fan that goes on the light. And this is the second fan that goes on the side of the printer. 
Finally, we'll take off the Z-axis motor cable. Okay, we have this. We're going to replace this bar with this new one. Here I'm going to talk about the screw sizes. So there are four sizes. We have the extra large, the large, medium, and the small one. And for most of them we're going to use the small. Um, but the extra large, they go to the fan. The large, they're the same as the ones that are here on the motherboard. We're going to use these for the motherboard only. We're going to use these new ones to attach it back to the printer. These four ones are going to go for the light. And of course, these are going to be for everywhere else that they're needed. Okay, so in the same position that this bar was, we're going to apply the new one using these, we're using these screws as well. Tighten this really good. Okay, and we'll put that to the side for now. Back to here, we're going to take off the light. We're going to start by taking off the battery on the side here. And we use this screw. This is attached to the cone. So we'll just put it to the side here for now. taking off the light. Turning the printer on its side. Okay. First thing we're going 
do is put the ribbons back on. Now we're ready to put the motherboard back. And a good way to do that is by turning the printer on its side. We're going to put back the ribbon to the motherboard. It goes this way, the letter's facing towards you. Make sure it's in there. Looks secure. And now we're going to use the lock screw. These are going to go behind the metal, in between the metal and the printer's back. I'm not going to tighten it all the way so I can have room to work on this other side here. Same thing here. And I don't want to tighten it all the way just yet. We want to have room to plug in everything else later on. Okay, now we're going to reseat the LCD screen back onto the motherboard. There's a little ribbon here. Okay, you'll usually hear a click. So that's your clue that's in there. Okay, we have this loose here, so we're going to apply some electrical tape to hold it down so it's not in the way of the parallel light. Okay, we're going to get some tape. This is electrical tape we're using. it's secure. The LCD ribbon as well. Okay, and now we're ready to install our brackets. It's easier if we turn our printer upside down. Have this facing you, the back panel facing you. 